a story in five words. Here's a story in five words. Most Americans seize the day. Jerry, a new poll shows that two-thirds of Americans have a carpe diem or seize the moment attitude. Do you live this way? Okay, so I was completely confused by this story because I thought seize the day meant take advantage of all the opportunities that you're, come your way and do what you can to make yourself and your world better. But no, it's advocating day drinking as far as I can tell. <laughs> it's all about like making yourself feel better and self-care. And I was, so I'm, I remain confused, but I'm not surprised that a lot of people who were probably under the age of 40 answered, oh yeah, I definitely mm -hmm. seize the day. Well, one of the things they said, Julie, is that since the pandemic, in order to make yourself feel better and feel like you're really living is you do a lot of online shopping. I did that before the pandemic. Oh, that's <laughs> like nonsense. And you know the the the, the percentage of twenty five percent, you know, drinking more, choosing your favorite beverage. I've been doing that since I was sixteen. <laughs> so like the pandemic has not changed my life whatsoever, other than the fact that it made me enjoy the fact that I got to social distance for two years. Because I have always done that, but normally it's considered good to be rude. Now I'm just following the law. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> Joey. How do you live your life? Do you seize the day? <laughs> One day at a time, man. I'm just <laughs> thankful to be here, you know. Uh, and a more serious note, gratitude. Gra you know, I always used to call my house like my fortress of solitude because I'd, I'd put everything I needed there. And But it's really it's my fortress of gratitude. Like, I just, I'm so thankful to be alive. Not just because I survived something that should have killed me, but because in doing so, um, I was reminded of how blessed I am, not just to have, you know, my, my beautiful family and th those blessings, but just to be born in this country. Yeah. Now, with that being said, the reason why these youngsters are living carpe diem, let me tell you something. If the government was about to pay off half my student loans, I'd be taking spring break in Cabo, too. Like, I mean, you know, like, there is no better time in the history of ever to be young and broke than in the United States right now. Because right to buy your vote, the government will do anything. Yep. Despite what Jimmy said in the green room, we are glad you're here. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy, do you enjoy up. life's pleasures more post-pandemic? No, actually, no. I used to day drink more when I was younger, but my taxi passengers hated it. They used to <laughs> honest, no, I, I definitely think I came into this with the same attitude. I come from a really fun family. And I've always looked at life like we're all in the fun business. To get seriously, to be serious for a second, if you die tomorrow, you're not going to wish you got on one more Twitter fight. You know, you're going to wish you had a good time. Listen to a song you liked, ate a food you liked. So that's always been my mentality. And that's why I really didn't feel the journey from where I started to where I am. Because I was too busy just enjoying it. Like, really, when I was in a cab and getting cut off and shot at, I'd be like, oh, I love this song. You know what I mean? <laughs> And, and I'm not even kidding. Like, that's my only secret sauce in life. I tell you that all the time. If you look at life like you're a dog with a job. Have you ever gone to the airport, seen a dog? He's always wagging his tail because he's like, he can't believe they're counting on him to save the plane. <laughs> <laughs> that's me. Every day. Every day. That's it. That's it. Beautifully said. Don't go away. We'll be right back. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.